Republican Congressman Paul Gosar, he sits on the House Oversight Subcommittee on Homeland Security, and he is a member of the Congressional Border Security Caucus. Sir, thank you for joining us. The president is placing the blame, you know, square at your doorstep, saying that it is up to, it's up to Congress to go ahead and write new laws. How do you, you respond? Know, Melissa, he's exactly right. You know, we're the legislative arm. We need to um, take back that power and... Uh, I've been one of those people that have said, listen, let's take this piece by piece by piece. Let's start with border security. Let's start with the enumeration and support of our laws. Let's talk about these issues one at a time and share them with the American people because immigration is such a, a vital part of this country. But I mean, we got to do this and it, it rests on Congress to do it. So what's the holdup? Because everybody stands out there and they blame the other side of the aisle. The American public is looking at these images and they're fed up and some even say that the president is doing this to put pressure on you guys so that you can't keep it as a political issue but have to sit down and make a deal. How do you respond? Well, I mean, I, I think if you can always lead a horse to water, Melissa, but you can't make him drink. And the thing that you're seeing obstinately over and over and over again is Democrats refusing to acknowledge that they're part of the problem. President Obama actually in, uh, initiated this response by not upholding our laws. And that's facilitated uh, this, this uh, entourage of, of uncompeted minors and families coming into this country. And so from that standpoint, it, it has to be a basis in regards to, you know, give and take. You know, they've never said that they would actually pay for the wall. Uh, they want nothing to do with that wall. Um, they want to go past, go collect $200 okay, and but, get their but way. But there are a lot of things that they do want. So how do you get past that? Because it's about sitting down and trading some of the things that you want for some of the things that you don't want to give. And that's how you get to a deal, as you well know. What's stopping you? Because voters are going to hold it's all them. of you accountable. No, it's, 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 it's them, Melissa. You know, one of the things mm -hmm. that I find broken here is when you have bad process, you have bad policy and you have bad politics. And that goes on leadership. You know, when we're look at, looking at these two bills coming up here, where was the whole, you know, oversight where we actually brought this up to the whole committee process where everybody had a chance to say something about it? Mm. It didn't happen. So we're behind closed doors conceiving some type of cockamamie type of uh, protocol that we're going to rush through to, to facilitate, you know, an answer to the, the harshness of trying to get something done on this aspect. And it's, and it's fraudulently put together. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like a rush because it feels like we've all been waiting for some sort of solution on this front for a long time. Here is what Elijah Cummings had to say. I'll get you to react on the other side. The Trump administration's policy, which is now resulting in child internment camps. That's what I said, child internment camps. We are better than that. We are so much better. The optics are horrible, not to mention the policy. I mean, you guys are going to get blamed for that. You heard Democrats beating their drum. How do you deal with that? Oh, I, you know, coming from this, from that rhetoric there, Melissa, I'm sorry. You know, how, how can you talk out of both sides of your mouth when you talk out about abortion? You know, so from that standpoint, it's, it's, it's hostile rhetoric. But, you know, the thing about it is we're a sovereign country, and what we have to do is make sure that we're upholding laws. That's what made us great. We're helping more victims than we're hurting. And from that standpoint, what we have to do is we have to stop sensationalizing this aspect and get to real solutions. Yes, we put things sit down on the and table. write some different laws. Once again, yeah. oh, absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely All right. right. Thank you for joining us, sir. We appreciate your time.